storage tab shows us all storage that we have in our PC. A uh, storage sense is a feature introduced by Microsoft in Windows 10 to help to clean the storage area of our drives. So as you can see I'm keeping it off because I have I have set up advanced maintenance but I would I would set it to run every week to delete temporary files or every two weeks Uh, but don't delete uh, files in your downloads folder make sure that you that you back up and store them in your storage area so basically Okay, so now it does the cleaning. So it's a kind of combination of this cleanup that I already show you, showed you, and some basic scheduling. Look, apps and features take up 6.5 gigabytes of the space on my hard drive, and temporary files. 129 megabytes because I already cleaned some temporary files with CC cleaner shown earlier. So we have to know that storage uh, sense will take up some resources when running so it's it's better to do it manually periodically and control what is going to be cleaned and how much than to keep it running automatically. I suggest setting up automatically freeing up the space for people who are not sure that they can commit to do that on weekly, bi-weekly or monthly basis. Everything longer than one month will result in your storage area being cluttered with temp and junk files okay so tablet mode here is practical if we use uh, our computer for presentation so we have options to hide up icons and to hide the taskbar so you can customize that as you wish so we will be asked do you want to switch to tablet mode or not during the presentation times uh, multitasking tab defines how to work with multiple windows so I would keep it as it is if we tamper with these settings we won't have a uh, multitasking uh, working properly projecting to this PC if we connect PC to projector or to another screen this is how to configure that uh, shared experiences uh, shared experience means 
if we start work on linked phones or tablets uh, we can continue on our desktop machine and vice versa so here we define only on my devices devices or on everyone's devices which is problematic from the privacy perspective the problem is here uh, if we share with somebody we have to give access to our Microsoft account and here is the privacy statement that explains uh, what kind of data are collected but better to be safe and minimize that collection because we never know what Microsoft or third party will do with our data uh, next tab is clipboard where we define to have multiple items in the clipboard so if we sign in with a Microsoft or work account we can sync across devices which is sometimes problematic because sharing is caring when we share our data we have no control what will other indeed individuals on their devices do with our data remote desktop is for connecting to other computers so if you need it you can enable it I I don't keep that enabled because it can be hacked and used by the hacker to access to my PC so so you can also enable it only when you need it this is about the machine so we can see device specifications processor RAM device ID product ID system type pen or touch and uh, as you can see I'm using Windows 10 professional the latest version 1909 installed just before New Year and this is latest build 18363.535 okay that was system tab if we go to devices tab here we can see we can see our devices mouse keyboard and pen if we have audio devices other devices printers and scanners mouse typing settings multilingual test suggestions advanced keyboard setting suggestions and auto corrections pen and window sync that's built in inking features here you can learn more it's useful if you have to mark some important content during presentation and so on this is about autoplay uh, we can set up removable drives to open automatically when we insert them for memory card we can set import or the same open folder to view files this is USB devices tab where we can choose to notify if there are issues connecting to USB devices which may be useful sometimes in the phone tab we can link our phone but first we need to sign in with Microsoft which may be again problematic from the privacy perspective so for example if we manage Android phone which is Google product 
or if you manage Apple phone which is Apple product uh, what does Microsoft has to do with it so basically as you can see I didn't enable that so if you don't need you can actually try this feature if you like it keep it if not don't use it under network and internet tab we can see our network status as you can see I'm connected to Ethernet and I keep my network as public which means nobody from my network can access to my PC so this is about VPN we can add elements of the VPN connection here this is data usage as you can see since New Year I used almost 6 gigabyte of data look system was using 4.22 gigabytes these are Windows updates Office almost 800 this web installer almost 400 and so on So let me reset usage stats for my Ethernet connection. Okay, we can set limit, monthly limit. Let's say we can set reset date or gigabyte limit. For example, if we have limit 100 gigabytes, we can set it. let's say every 20th of the month it will reset okay let me cancel this I don't need limits so this is good to customize this to always to limit what store apps and Windows features can do in the background because whenever something is working in background that means that application is still using system resources but we don't currently work with that application so basically better to keep it proxy turn proxy off because if you're on home connection as most of users are we don't need proxy and uh, we, we don't have setup script for proxy manual proxy setup we can set up address or port as you can see I'm not using that so that's everything about the network and internet personalization tab here we can choose background to be slideshow and to change picture every 30 minutes or hour or six hour or day so I keep it for 30 minutes and we can set shuffle okay on colors we can use default windows mode to be light or dark default app mode could be light or dark we can use transparency effects and choose accent color I chose automatically pick an accent color look this is my accent color blue because my background is blue now when I change the background accent color will change you will see it will be greenish now okay it's still brown so basically you can choose to start taskbar and action center share the same accent color and title bars and windows borders you can customize it according to your liking lock screen you choose which background appears on the lock screen window spotlight and you here you can choose theme theme encompasses background windows color sounds and cursor 
so basically as you can see I customized this theme and I'm using uh, Windows inverted uh, large mouse cursor and using Windows 10 5 images so you see that in the next desk yeah this one okay so here we can customize the fonts we can drag and drop fonts in this place order to automatically get installed and added to the fonts folder in the control panel as you can see this is the fonts folder okay so basically this is the customization of the start menu this is the default setting so we can also choose which folders appear on the start menu file explorer settings documents downloads your music is off picture is on videos is off network is off personal folder is off but we can change it if I go to standard Windows 10 menu okay so this is what appears on the start menu now so this is my personal folder so that's the user folder that has contacts desktop documents downloads favorites links music and pictures saved games and searches and videos so you can also customize this according to your liking and taskbar so if you have big screen as I do I suggest that you use small taskbar buttons otherwise they become huge and basically they take lots of spy space on the taskbar so I like using sm small taskbar buttons and I like combining buttons only when the taskbar is full for easier and faster preview so here we can choose which icons appear on the taskbar so as you can see my microphone is on I reboot is on Windows Explorer safely remove hardware network is on volume is on okay I will enable the B video capture software also and uh, Windows update status and I don't need more icons in the system tray the, uh, the rest are hidden here like Windows Defender icon okay that's everything about personalization tab apps tab we have list of the installed apps some of the apps we can reinstall from here as I showed you from the start menu so here we customize to install apps from anywhere I wouldn't recommend that you re limit yourself to Microsoft Store only because Microsoft Store is still limited with the apps here we customize default apps if you want music player as you can see I I stick to legacy Windows media player and photo viewer is photos and video player is VLC media player I will show you how to install VLC media player in one of my next videos because this is freeware media player which is very good and stable and my default browser is Google Chrome we can change it here to be Microsoft Edge or Firefox or Internet Explorer or whatever is your preference these are offline maps so that downloading maps feature doesn't work very well 
let me show you I will choose uh, I will choose uh, just to show Aruba map because it's not as big as Canada map and now it's downloading and in task manager we will see that it takes lots of bandwidth for downloading the maps so look four five six or more megabits per second and we'll see how much it will take to download I experimented with this and didn't really like because that feature is still in the development it's quite visible here we can we can set up metered connection so maps will only download on free wireless LAN or unlimited cellular data doesn't affect automatic updates map will update automatically which is my case my device is plugged in and I'm not on metered connection okay good so Aruba is almost downloaded so it's almost 37 megabytes okay so video playback tab allows us to configure video playback we can choose to automatically process video to enhance it or to play at lower resolution streaming videos which is not perfect option sometimes we need to play video in 4k or fully high definition so this setting might interfere with that so this is about startup as you can see my classic start menu from iVosoft is on with medium impact security notification icon on with medium impact I reboot it's it's small utility for switching between the operating systems look on my cooler master beast DC these are all the operating system that I have currently installed for experimenting and learning and practicing starting from Windows XP 7 8.1 to 10 so basically when I click on any of these operating system the computer will restart and load that one so that's why I keep it on to run on startup for convenient and fast switching between operating systems so under accounts tab here we have a uh, info look I'm using local account with generic name owner and I am administrator on this machine so you can sign in with a Microsoft account instead but I'm not in favor of that option because when we're logged in with our Microsoft account we have no control what kind of data are transferred to Microsoft or in other words we may be spied without our knowledge so we can actually create the picture or browse for picture picture appear here in this circle so here we can set up email accounts and we can also add work or school account here this is more about setting up and managing account these are sign-in options 
If you have a fingerprint reader, you can use Windows Hello Fingerprint or Hello Pin. Pin is quite simple and not really secure option because Pin is only for numbers. Or we can use physical security key on the USB drive you have that supplied. Or we can add password. I didn't set the password yet. Yeah, but I suggest you set a password for your account to get it protected. This is my this is my operating system for just experimenting and demonstrating uh, Windows 10 optimization. So basically, I didn't. Yeah, picture password is the future feature. It's not unavailable. We can click to learn more. Yeah. So dynamic lock. So account details as email address on the sign-in screen is not good option because everybody will be able to see the full email address so this is also I don't recommend I don't have sign-in but I but keep this option off So basically, here we can add a work or school account. Or we can create another account on this PC for a family member or children or... S yeah or setting back setting up a kiosk with assigned access this is what what can be synced in Windows 10 if we use online account either Microsoft account or work account this is the explanation how does syncing work so you can play with that if you like it under time and language category we can choose to set time automatically or manually sync as you can see it's already past midnight so basically we're in mountain time zone This is convenient to leave for adjusting daylight saving time automatically. And we can choose to show additional calendars in the taskbar. Yeah. Okay. Region, as you can see, my region is Canada. English Canada is regional language. This original format data, we can change it and customize here. Language, Windows Display Language is English United States. But because priority language is English Canada, under options, I can see what's installed and basically I can remove English United States only keep 
English Canada as preferred language. This is speech language. I can choose between system language English United States and English Canada and choose to recognize non-native accents for this language and uh, set up microphone sp speech recognition and choose a voice for text to speech yeah we can add more voices or install voice packages and so on okay that was everything about time and language options so under gaming Uh, we have game bar configuration here we can uh, customize keyboard shortcuts to open game bar to take screenshot to record uh, to start stop recording keep microphone on or off start pause broadcast or show camera and broadcast and here we can also customize capture where to save captures recording games in the background set up my maximum recording length recording audio set up audio quality microphone volume and system volume and record video frame and video quality could be standard or high we can broadcast audio game mode when game mode is on Windows optimizes your PC for play if you're gamer keep it on Xbox networking I uninstalled some Xbox comp components as I showed you at the beginning of this video so basically it's not it's not ready because I don't use it ease of access this is where we customize the text customize the size okay my scaling factor is 150 percent we can customize the size of apps and text on other displays change the size and color of cursor mouse pointer we can show animations transparency and uh, I don't like hidden scroll bars so when scroll bars are hidden basically we have to move mouse it slows us down during the scrolling and so on we can choose to show or not that's the background image okay here we can customize the pointer size and col color under additional mouse settings we can do additional customization and customize cursor thickness and change touch feedback for the monitors with touch screens yeah here we can customize usage of magnifier tools change increments if you need to use magnifier you can play with these options here we can apply certain color filters as you can see I keep everything default here we can choose high contrast theme so this is the high contrast 
and here we can customize usage of narrator voice pitch volume and default playback device okay let's let's go to search category so here we if we share computer with children we can apply safe search options to be strict moderate or off off there is no filtering of adult content strict filters completely adult content so if you're setting if you're setting uh, the account for children it's recommended to set it to strict cloud content search in device history I will I suggest turning this off so basically if somebody is going to spy me they won't know what I was doing on my computer searching windows I keep it classic we can exclude some folders from the search and search indexer settings we can troubleshoot to resolve search issues this is more details about the search Cortana still tool in development so Windows logo key and C Cortana listens the commands uh, I don't use Cortana because I don't need it but you can play it's it's very similar to Siri but Siri started to develop earlier and Siri is much more developed than Cortana Cortana still is still in development and I didn't find it quite useful this is permissions you can sign in to personalize permissions allowing Cortana to access look I don't allow any access to Cortana but it doesn't mean that Cortana doesn't have default system access Cortana and Windows search work with Bing still in development this is about Cortana and your privacy you can you can dedicate some time to to read these details to make yourself familiar privacy tab under privacy tab I suggest unchecking everything uh, and uh, I keep location off if some app needs my location I can enter that manually postal code or so on and background apps I suggest to keep all of them off because if they are on they will take up system resources look uh, we don't need Skype if we don't use it we don't need settings to be on if you don't use a print 3d if we don't use it we don't need it on photos if you don't use currently we don't need it on people paint 3d one note office mobile plans solitaire collection edge messaging maps I suggest turn it off for your protection app diagnostics I suggest keeping it on if in the future we encounter some issues with some app we can easily troubleshoot and access diagnostic info automatic 
file downloads keep it off documents apps need access to documents library either pictures or uh, videos or anything like that yeah so 3d viewer can access videos and camera can access to be able to save videos in the videos folder file system access leave it as it is okay update and security tab so Windows update here we can pause updates or resume under delivery optimization I suggest that you keep it off because even though it says allow downloads from other PCs but when your PC is considered as other PC to some some other computer on the same network that means that other computer would utilize resources of this machine or your machine to do downloads so it gets out of control so I suggest turning this off under window of security virus and threat protection so in this setting I suggest keeping real-time protection and cloud delivered automatic sample submission that works for Microsoft to improve Windows Defender but doesn't work for us because we don't know what files are going to be submitted and what is Microsoft going to do with them so it's privacy issue and we can also always choose to submit a sample manually if you think it's it's interesting for wider community and Microsoft to do something about that tamper protection if there are more users on your machine keep it on to prevent changing important security features okay keep it off because I'm the only user on this PC and administrator here we can set exclusions that won't be scanned this is not recommended this is configuration of the notifications so I need the virus and threat protection I need all of them to be kept up to date what's going on and what is viral blocking and why is blocking and so on so backup is interesting what I would suggest and I will demonstrate that now that you create a system image which will be used to restore your computer in case something happens okay let me choose the location for the image so I will choose this click next so it will do screenshot of my current system drive so it will take up 30 gigabytes of disk space 
so if some issue happen I can always restore my computer for this backup so it will take 5-10 minutes depends on the speed of the computer so this is quite useful feature so here we can refresh our PC without affecting our files or reset it and start over those are backup and recovery options or we can add external USB or eSATA hard drive to save backup So under troubleshoot tab we have option to to troubleshoot internet connections, audio printer, Windows update and Bluetooth direct access to workplace incoming connections, keyboard, network adapter, power program compatibility. If you have problem let's say with speech or video you can just click and choose run the troubleshooter. Or if you have problems with Windows Store apps the same click and run troubleshooter this is recovery tab so this is restarting into the advanced startup startup or we can reset the PC activation so we see activation data so as you can see my Windows is activated with digital license here we can change product key So here I can add Microsoft account if I like. So this is option for mobile devices, laptops and so. So when we sign in Microsoft account, we can customize find my device. It's very similar to find my phone for iPhones and iPads so this is customization of the developer features for sideload apps so I can install apps from other so sources that I trust like workplace so these are some some settings that we can customize and uh, remote desktop and PowerShell so Windows installs standard program if you want to test early pre-release versions of Windows 10 and provide feedback to Microsoft so you can apply here so you can link an account mostly Microsoft and so on I wasn't interested in that so this is this is everything about the customizing the settings of Windows 10 so in the next video I will cover uh, I will cover advanced optimization and cleanup using free tools today we just covered using the built-in tools except I showed you I showed you use of CC cleaner to uninstall apps that we don't need that's free tool that will be also covered in in, in more detail next time so So uh, you can subscribe to get notified about the new videos. I plan to release at least two videos per week. 
So there, there is lots of topics to cover because Windows 10 has grown significantly in features and everything. So basically I will put efforts to cover the most important aspects and in the comments uh, write your requests and if you have some suggestions or critics I'm open for everything. Yeah, and we'll see you in the next video which will cover advanced script maintenance and optimization. That was everything for today. Thank you very much.